and welcome back to Google Drive in under five. Today we're going to be taking a look at Gmail and we're going to learn about labeling our emails. Labeling is a little bit different than folders that you might find in other programs. In a folder you can only have one email per folder. However, in Gmail, an email can have multiple labels. You can do so many more things by working with labels and it expands the way that we can organize our inbox and keep ourselves working as efficient as possible. The first way that we're going to create a label is to click on the square over here and that's going to bring up our email menu. I'm going to click on this button right here under labels and I'm going to create a new label. I'm going to call this one Jeff. It's going to ask me to create a new label and I'm going to make this a top level label so I don't need to worry about nesting. I'm going to hit create and over here on the left we now have a Jeff label. We can also see that even though this email is in the inbox, it is labeled as Jeff. There's a few other things that we can do with this label. I'm going to click here under the Jeff and there's a triangle. If I click on the triangle, I can change the label color to anything that I want. And you can see here now that this label has a red square and the label is marked as red. I now want to take our second email and create an additional label. I'm going to uncheck the first email, click on the second email, create a new label. I'm going to then hit create new label and I want to nest this under the Jeff label. So I'm going to hit nest under Jeff and I hit create. That brings up another triangle to the left of the word Jeff where I can drop this down. It says emails that are important. I can also change the color of this and so now I have a red label and I have a gray bluish label. I can of course sort by these labels. I can still find them in my inbox or if I want I can go to the Omnibox and type in label Jeff and you can see here that just by typing in Jeff it comes up with everything under Jeff. So I'm going to do label Jeff. And you can see here that it just sorts everything that is under the label of Jeff. You can see that this email is also in the inbox, but it doesn't give you the label of the folder. That would be redundant. So now I'm going to click over here under inbox. I can do a few things to get this email out of the inbox. I can click on the email and I can simply hit archive. That's going to move it away from the inbox, but it's still going to keep the label. I'll click on this now. And I'll show you that still in Jeff, I have the email here. I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to move this back into the inbox. So again, it's still under Jeff, but now it's back under inbox. I can also come into this inbox and I can see I've got two labels here, one for Jeff and one for inbox. If I click on the X, it's still in Jeff, but it's now no longer in the inbox. I can do one more thing here. I can take this and I can move this into emails that are important or I can move this into Jeff. Now it's already labeled as emails that are important but if I click on Jeff it's gone from the inbox. You'll see it's still under emails that are important but now I have two labels. So by moving it into another label I've now added that label to that email. So now again, when I look at this, I can see this here just has a Jeff label. And when I click to get to older emails, I now have this email here, which has two labels to it and it's marked as important. One last thing about labels, we can organize these by clicking on the gear, going down to settings going into labels and here we have all of the labels that we've created. I have my Jeff label. I have my labels that are important. Perhaps I want to change this. I can simply click into here and I can have a new label on the label. You can see that that's updated over here. I can choose to show or hide. And over here, because this is a parent, I can choose to show. See that it's over here. I can choose to hide. Notice it's changed. Or I can see only if it's unread, but I don't have any unread messages. So I'm going to hit show, show by right now. So I'm going to click on show and I'm going to make sure that I can see this all the time. If I want to, I can edit it. 
I can nest this under something different. I can always change the nesting. Or if I want to completely, I can remove it. And that's going to email. And that's going to delete every label under the parent. So now that I've deleted the Jeff, the other label is gone as well. But you'll notice here that the emails did not make their way back into the inbox. So where did they go? I'm going to click back here onto the gear, go into settings, go into labels, and right here it says all mail. So I'm going to hit show. We're going to see that the all mail tab has shown up here. I'm going to click back on my inbox, click onto all mail, and now you can see every single piece of email that I have. Some of them have labels. Some of them don't, some of them are starred, and some of them are marked as important. You can see labels are very, very powerful. You can use them to organize anything that you want. The one thing that you shouldn't do is treat them as folders. Remember, you can have an email with multiple labels going into multiple places. But an email can only be in two different spots. It can be an all mail, or if I click on this, it goes into the trash and your trash has 30 days before it officially dumps out. So I'm going to click on here to the refresh, go back up to my email, see that I still have starred, see that I still have important, see all the sent emails that I have, drafts, or of course I can go to all mail. And those are just some of the tips when trying to control and command your Gmail inbox. <laughs>